Hello, you are welcome to Etty Monitor. Committed to the Tito World. And today I would like to quickly speak on the universal precautions. Universal precautions. What do we mean by universal precautions? What do we mean by safety precautions? Uh, what are those strategies to ensure universal precautions? And of course, advantages of uh, universal precautions. Going by the way of definition, you can say universal precaution is the prevention of uh, infection from patient to health workers, uh, from patient to patient, and of course from health workers to patients. Using standard precautions um, simply means um, always considering everybody possibly infected. So therefore take uh, all standard precautions with all patients. Moving away from that, um, standard precautions using infection prevention control uh, uh, R and IG, uh, use of PPE that we call personal protective equipment, save only on disposal of salves, save only on disposal of uh, chemical waste, uh, maintaining blood and body fluid, uh, decontaminating equipment, uh, maintaining and achieving a clean clinical environment, um, use of um, indwelling devices, and of course, uh, maintaining as a net exposure to blood borne uh, virus that is non inter skin and uh, mucous uh, membrane must be protected. Having said that, now uh, let's now quickly look into uh, strategies to ensure. Uh, universal precautions strategies to ensure universal precautions they are use of a uh, new single user disposable uh, injection equipment for all injections providing uh, auto disposable or retractable types uh, discard contaminated saps immediately without recapping puncture and uh, nickel proof uh, containers that is safety buses uh, which are you know, closed, sealed, and uh, disposed uh, when it is a uh, three quarter full. And um, proper disinfection and sterilization of contaminated instruments or equipment. And uh, appropriate waste segregation and disposal. Uh, wash hands uh, with soap and water uh, before and after all procedures. Use of uh, protective barriers such as um, gloves, gum, aprons, masks, eye goggles, and so on and so on. Like that, uh, disinvention of um, instruments and other contaminated uh, equipment, and soil healing, and you know, undo proper soil healing, that is, soil healing should be handled uh, as little as uh, possible. And of course, gloves and leak proof bag should be used if necessary. Having said all this now, let's now quickly look into uh, advantages of a universal precautions because we'll be able to know what universal precautions is, strategies to ensure universal uh, precautions. And now the big question is what are the advantages of a, a universal precautions? What are the advantages of a universal precautions? Advantages of universal precautions are uh, number one, uh, it protects uh, post procedural infections, including surgical site infections to clients or to patients. Uh, it promotes high, high quality safe practices. Um, it, it prevents the community from the, uh, infections originating from healthcare facilities and uh, it also prevents the spread of microorganisms uh, that have developed resistance to uh, antibiotics. It, it, it helps to prevent a spread of microorganisms that have developed resistance to antibiotics. So it's very, very crucial, very, very important for us as individuals, you know, as patients, as health workers, you know, to take uh, standard precautions very, very Serious, most especially this, uh, during this time of uh, COVID 19. So, on this note, I would like to say thank you for watching. And today, we'll be able to uh, talk about uh, stand a uh, uh, universal precautions. We you know what is safety precautions, is a strategy, and of course, advantages of a uh, uh, universal precaution. So, till I come your way next, always remember 
health is wealth. Please and please don't do not forget subscribe to our YouTube channel package one four package one four. Always remember health is wealth. Stay healthy, stay safe. I'm Emma or and I say bye for this moment. Thank you.